What's up everybody? Hello and welcome back to Anno 1800. We are back here and the first thing that we can do in this episode is something really cool and that is, well, reap the rewards of one of our exhibitions. Actually, we got quite a full program today, so let's get going. First off, this time, look at that. Now, I'm pretty certain that by now this is a bug. So when we started the exhibition, it was here. And when it ended, it was here. And now that I unveil the rewards, it is actually down here. And let me just really check this here. We do have electricity here in this area too. And we still have rewards that are down here. So by now, I'm pretty sure it's a bug because there's no other parameter anymore that I could um, change, you know? So we had quite some high um, coverage here for the goods, so except the chocolate, so we were here when it started. We had electricity the whole way through the exhibition, and now we're down here to only colorful flowers. I don't know what's going on here. Let's unveil the rewards and hope that it's something good. Nope, this is common. This is rare, a pink sugar bush, and this is uncommon champagne. So just some rather normal ones, but I'm really, really well, angry by now that we can't that we can't get any high rewards there. I don't know how to do it. I'm going to stop the exhibitions for now because I really don't want to waste those resources there all the time. We are just recovering on the bicycles at the moment. You remember we had a bit of a bicycle shortage there in Crown Falls, and right now it is recovering kind of. Perhaps I should add another factory here um, before we can do anything else. So what else do we have? We have gold in Crown Falls. So in El Zarao we had a huge, a huge um, surplus of gold that I'm going to transport over here to Crown Falls now. And what we can do is we can actually do the pocket watches um, production chain that we have here with the glass. So, and the glass and the gold. So first of all, of course, we need the goldsmith. Do we have coal on this island here? I'm pretty sure we have lots of coal and yes, we do have that. So I'm going to add another production chain here in this area since that is kind of like our factory um, district. So the first thing that I want to do here, of course, having some paved streets again, just around this area here. So we're going to have paved streets from now on everywhere. They're just really, really powerful uh, when it comes to speeding up the things. And look at that, what we've also got, and that is a new ornament section here with the latest hotfix patch kind of that came up. And also this fixes the problem that some ships are stuck in the outer edges. So I also received some messages from you that this happens in your game. So it should be fixed by now. Uh, definitely fixed in my game. I had some of those cases in the new world. And it's not happening anymore. And also those ornaments here are now in their extra section. Something I really like. Because you, uh, we're just too, way too many clicks there um, to get to them. And yeah, as we can see, we can now place those gardens here when we collect them however we want to, so we can actually make something beautiful out of them without clicking on a botanical garden first. I don't think that anything else has changed though, so in this case we just have some more garden ornaments here and hopefully we find something like that in the future with um, the exhibitions, though I doubt it at this point. Right, we actually wanted to do something here and that is first we need more goldsmiths. I don't know if we actually have some goldsmiths, let's have a look. Nope, we actually don't have any goldsmiths on this island so far. So let's have like four of them here. That should be working. I'm also going to upgrade that warehouse here, of course. To have this beautiful production here. Also some pastries. We still have some room here, I think. Let's see, we could have, we could either have, yep. That would actually fit in there like, like a charm, the clockmakers. Or we could have another goldsmith here, if we want to. And then have, actually we do have the fire station here. And I'm not expecting any rides here, am I? No, I'm not. So actually, or actually we could have a little park here. You know, in the factory district for the workers. Why not? At the moment, I don't see any reason why we should have anything else there. Or another, well, goldsmith then. I think those four are quite enough right now. Plus they're powered with electricity here, as we can see. Um, what I think is, oh yeah, the clockmakers actually require electricity. So I have to be careful here. I can't have those uh, goldsmiths here, like all of them. So we'll have to move them over here into this district here. And there I will have another warehouse. 
upgrading to the highest level there once again and having the paved streets here too. And then I'm going to have those clockmakers here. That should look a better. And I really don't know how many we actually need. Let's have three. Have another goldsmith here. Fits in like that. Perfect. Then we can actually have some trees or some temperate grove here along the factory. So we have three of them. I actually want to have a fourth of them. I think the gold produces every minute. This one needs every 40. Oh, okay, no, then that this is enough. This is quite enough um, from the ratio aspect. So we are producing some pocket watches now. We should see a little bump there in our income. Let's have a look at my pocket watches just real quick. They're still at zero. But as we can see, we got lots of gold still so that is looking good so far and we just have to wait a bit now now we get the first pocket watches in there and that should hopefully solve a bit of the unhappiness that we had with the investors so we actually had some rights here we still have some rights here and of pissed investors as we can see they're on the streets there and those people are pretty unhappy with how i govern my city but as you can see investors is now plus one so it was at minus six or something like that and because we had pocket watches for them now we actually were able to raise the happiness there so this is pretty high there again and i don't i shouldn't see any rides anymore there as you can see it's going actually away perfect so we only have one more ride here as far as i can see oh there are some outer uh, some other ones here for the artisans but yeah everyone's happy now except the farmers why are the farmers unhappy? They want schnapps and a pup, so nothing too dangerous, nothing too... Oh, there we actually have some unhappy farmers out here. So let's get, hmm, let's get rid of those farmers here and actually have a pup here, just on the outer edges of the town. In this little slum district of Crown Falls. Perfect. Actually, no, let's keep some dirt roads here. I like them from time to time. And yes, you're totally right, of course. We can also get rid of those schnapps productions here soon because I don't think we'll need them that much longer anymore. We only have 6,000 farmers on Crown Falls right now. Not that much. Um, and I think we don't need that much schnapps there anymore. We're definitely overproducing at the moment by quite a bit. So that's something. Okay, so that's that. Um, something else, as you know, upgrading. It's one of my favorite activities here. And we are going to upgrade more engineers this time to investors. As we can see, there are no more rides here, so we can actually have some upgrades here. Oh, this just feels so good. More influence for us. And I really just want to have more... Oh yeah, actually we can also have some more engineers here. We definitely should be able to upgrade those farmers there. Perfect. And then we can upgrade those workers there to artisans. And actually this block here definitely needs also a little park there in the middle. We go for the fountain plaza here once again. Just around the artisan buildings. I love those artisan buildings. And here we have that beautiful garden there now. So step by step the city is really... I mean it's definitely the biggest that I've ever built and it's... It's something, I gotta say, it's something. And it's only going to grow. We still have lots of farmers here. And yes, um, what I actually will do is I'm going to have a farmer island somewhere where I have my farmer population. And then we can just get rid of them here all together and just have brokers there. I don't like the farmers here. This is already pretty good here. There are just workers there. So we still have some timber left. So let's upgrade uh, the remaining workers here to artisans. Definitely this block there. We also have, oops, two more workers here. This block here, so those blocks are completed. Very good. And also around the hospital there, now only artisans in this case. So, of course, we still have to look out for the workforce there. We don't want to upgrade too many and then suddenly lack the workforce. Also some here and some here and that's about it. Yeah, perfect. So lots of upgrades 
let's give him some time to grow there once again. And in the meantime, we can actually focus on something else, and that is the botanical expedition. So there is another step here. Hopefully something is happening there. The arid basin. Water has dribbled almost to nothing during an inland survey en route to the rendezvous. But hope springs eternal. A muddy river strikes through the arid basin. The crew are delirious when they realize it is not completely dried up. Do you stop for water or press on? Let's look for the source of water. It seems to be the best option here. Plus 50%. Finding a river source is easy, but turning it into a shortcut, that takes brains. And yeah, we had this one here already, so now I remember. So it's not completely new text there with the expeditions. And let's also get rid of some of those expeditions there. I really don't want to do them again. I really just want to go for the botanical ones and hopefully let's find, hopefully we find something good out of that one there. All right, that's that. And we also have two treasure hunts up and running right now. So with this map here, so both of them are for Cape Trelawney and both of them should give us some good artifacts that we can actually use. And by now we should actually know those islands pretty well. So we could actually just have a look around. We know there is a glowing spot around them if it's the right island. So in this case, that is looking a bit suspicious there. And nope, actually I don't think it's this one here. We could also go for this one. Just have a look around. Or we just wait until the ship is here and the echo leads us to the right location there. In this case, this doesn't look like a promising island here either. Where's my ship actually? There it is. My salvager on its way. So we're just going to send this one around. It's rather easy by at this point. Plus those treasure hunts, you know, they're really... You really have a lot of time there before uh, you, you can finish them. And yes, it's not those islands here because I would have seen an echo by now. So we're going the other way here to this side there and just see what happens. The other thing is that we have quite a lot of artifacts by now that I also want to fill out here in the museum. Oh, <laughs> actually we only have one, but let's use it anyway. The regal gold ring gives us some attractiveness there once again and enlargens that museum that we have. And yeah, we are actually going for the next attractiveness level there. I'm eager to see what next um, step we go. I think it's the highest, the, next, the highest step that I've reached so far when it comes to the attractiveness of a town. And we also have the newspaper. So minus 50% riot and minus 50% for the consumption. Because I don't think actually that you can supply such a big city um, with only those few islands there. So I would definitely have to take something away from the Admiral. Something I will have to do at some point anyway. So I think we can't stay friends forever there with the Admiral. He's just got too, way too many islands on his part. Let's also have some more farmers there, since we are lacking some workforce there right now. That should do the trick. Perfect. Alright, let's have a, a quick look there at our production for the bicycles. Yeah, it's low, but it's it's growing a bit. And pocket watches is growing. Perfect. So the arrow is going up. So we shouldn't be worrying about those things anymore at this point. Or for now, I should say. And look at beer, for example, is high sausage. Schnapps. That's because our worker and farmer population dropped quite hard in the last episode. So we don't need to produce that much anymore and we can get the space back at some point. There's definitely going to be a cleanup moment then when we have to clean up lots of those things. What I can see is that we have for some reason some empty space here. That probably, probably deletes some production buildings there at some point so we can actually have some farmers here. And let's see. Uh, can we have a pop here? No, it's not fitting in. We can have a pop here or here. Where's the other one? There is a pop. Okay, so we can have a pop over here then. In this area there and just have a few trees there. Actually, there we have some brick factories. Not, not, not a pretty sight.
Let's also have some more farmer buildings here. Whoa. And we have the next step of the expedition there. Let me just finish this one here. We also want to have some trees here. Oh, let's have some apple trees here for those farmers. The flower eaters. The blue flowers have put the members of the expedition into a frightening delirium. Among the tranquil villages of this delta, your crew had seen the water plants, baskets laden with flower and fruit everywhere and had been curious to try them. You see, it does them no harm, the captain had said encouragingly, as they made friends with some locals upon the riverbank one sleepy afternoon. But not long into the delicious feast of flowers, your expedition party are experiencing wild hallucinations. Ask the locals what's happening. Plus 30% is not high. And your men become aggressive. Unable to communicate, they resort to grabbing the locals. Drug one cries. What have you done to us? There is ever, every danger this is about to turn nasty. Command them to fight their hallucinations instead. And they battle bravely against their shadows. Heeding the officer's command to resist, each of your veterans summons their inner strength to endure the sway of the little blue flower drenched with sweat and trusting their hands into the empty air. Eventually the horrors give way to narcosis and a deep sleep lasting several days. This land of water lilies will take valuable time from your odyssey. Cool, can I have this flower please? I want to have this flower, I want to have it in my garden so whenever the admiral comes to visit me, I'm going to give him one. Those cool things there. Alrighty, um, let's also have a look at the oil. As we can see now, last time we fixed this one here quite a bit. So we do have a little oil storage there and we should have a full coverage of electricity so far. One thing that you were right about is that my trains are kind of inefficient at the moment. We only have one track. So if one train uses that track here, for example, this one here going all the way up here, no one else can use this track. And this, of course, slows down my whole process here so we definitely want to have several tracks for different things so in this case here I actually want to have another track going all the way up here where we have the tra uh, the tracks coming from the oil plant the oil refineries actually so we have several tracks then we are producing some oil up here but the harbor is the culprit so we definitely want to have something there well, let's have a look at my railway system there we have the tracks so the first thing I want to do is I want to kind of like have a shortcut here that we can use then to go right for the harbor. Of course, this is going to hurt my houses. They're a bit lucky for us. I had a three layered street here already, but not here. So in this case, this is going to hurt a bit. Oh, it's well, not looking that good. Let's see how it is. And then it goes all the way down here where we already have something. Going over the river there. No, not over the river. That would be a bad thing because we want to have a botanical garden there, a bigger one. So it's going in here. This is not working. So we need to get rid of one of those houses here, I'm afraid. Actually, of two of them. Of those two houses there. And this should do the trick. So let's have a look. Let's try this one. So the trick. Train goes all the way down here down here oh <laughs> look at that this is this is like real this will be a nightmare for the the driver here but yeah let's just have it like that this is looking hilarious i want to see him drive this one okay then we go all the way over there or oh, actually let's make it a bit more pretty here Yeah, this is not looking good, of course, because this is the, this is why you have this. Oh yeah, this is actually working, but it's not looking that pretty, I know. Oh, and there we have another problem here. Let's see, there is the track now. We already have a big street going all the way down here, working, perfect. We just now need to get rid of those streets there. So I think this should be working there. Perfect. 
and then it's going all the way down here to this track. So now we actually have a shortcut, not the most beautiful one, but it's working. And we also want to have the street going... Oh yeah, actually you can't do that like that. So let's get rid of this one here, which automatically gets rid of the bridge there too. Yeah, this is still working. And then we have some trees here along the tracks. Okay, and also the same thing here. So let's just have a few more trees here along the tracks where we have some space. So we don't have to see those ugly tracks or this train here passing just beside the botanical garden later on. Of course, I can't hide this section here, unfortunately. Or should we make this more pretty? I don't know. Then we would have to get rid of this building here. Something I really don't want to. So let's just keep it like that. Perfect. Then it's going all the way up there. And here we can have another street going over that. A crossing here, a crossing here. And of course we also need some crossings here. Otherwise we lose some electricity on the other side. Perfect. That's looking good. And now we just need a few more trees here. Working out, I say. And yeah, so that's a little shortcut that we've just made. So I hope this track is being used then also more frequently by the trains. And of course, we have to do that several times. And what we can also do is we can, well, we can just broaden up the tracks there a bit. But the problem is we would have to do it in here. Actually, we've got a four layered street here so we could do it here you know so let's for example i want to get rid of that one here i just don't know if we can actually have a crossing over two railways at once so let's try this out that would be here as you can see so just in case if there are two trains on this they can switch the tra the tracks here and hopefully this is working now i just want to know if we can actually have crossings over that yeah we can have to we can do that perfect That's, that's good to see. So we can have crossings over two tracks there as well. Right in the middle of the town. So that's good that we had a four layered street here. So we can have it like that. And this should definitely hopefully speed up the process here. So that the tracks are not or the trains are not delayed when two trains are using it. Hopefully. We'll see if that actually works and if we have to do more of them. So probably somewhere over here then too. But yes, hopefully we can have more trains now on the tracks there. Alrighty, expedition once again. Oh, this is looking good. A fistful of the balloons. Okay, the image is new, but the text we already had. And let's track down the thieves. Unfortunately, we don't have hunting gear, but we can craft a... Oh no, actually... Now we don't have anything here. Attempt to catch a wild horses. No, let's buy the horses. We have to pay for something here. So let's get rid of the beer. I don't think we need beer at this point anymore. And the horses catch up with a prey in no time. In a flurry of dust and winning. The mounds assail the barren plains. And we got the thieves. I don't know what that has to do with the botanical expedition. But at least we got our money back. Right, that was the expedition. And hopefully this is working. So let's also have a few more upgrades again. I do have enough timber at this point. So we can upgrade some workers once again. We still have some workers here that I want to have artisans. And definitely also over here. This is looking a perfect block there that we can upgrade. Yeah, why not? We can also have some more artisans here. So now we actually have artisans here all around the harbor area. Oh no, over there we still have farmers. 
that we upgrade and then we can go for the artisans there. So that when someone comes into that city here and look at that, the elevation, I really like this one from the harbor, that the city is going up there. Really cool. And now we have also artisans on this side there. Working out, I say. Stay tuned. <laughs> 